You won't find any shark more astonishing nor remarkable than the Megalodon. Also called the Meg, our fascination for this creature lasts to this very day, even though they've been extinct for millions of years. Or have they? Do you think you already know everything that needs to be known about the mighty Meg? Well, I bet you don't know some of these facts. I reserve the most astonishing set of facts near the end, so make sure you stay tuned. Here are all the Meg facts you need to know in one video. Buckle up, Sonny Jim, this is gonna be a long ride. Number one, the Megalodon is the largest shark to have ever lived. Number two, and although a complete fossil hasn't yet been found, scientists estimate that they can grow to an average of 20 meters long, and that's larger than the whale shark, today's world's largest fish. Number three, scientists think that they evolved at such a great size because of the abundance of large food sources. Number four, they also estimate that a single meg has to consume at least 2,500 pounds of food per day, which isn't really a problem for them. Number five, they lived from the early Miocene to the Pliocene epochs, a time when giant ocean creatures absolutely ruled the ocean. Number six, the Megalodon was the apex predator during that time. Number seven, they lived for about 20 million years, and number eight, with most experts saying they went extinct about 2.6 million years ago. Number nine, as for how they look, no one really knows for sure. Some speculate that they share a similar body shape to the great white shark, but much bigger. Number 10. But because a complete fossil has never been found, there is still an ongoing debate on how they really looked. And number 11. One thing that experts seem to agree upon is that it had small, deep-set eyes which were too small for its body. Number 12. Experts also seem to agree with the fact that they were expert hunters. Number 13. And their weapon of choice is their incredibly strong bite. This bite was actually thought to be the strongest bite force for any animal that has ever existed. And although they wouldn't be able to bite an ancient whale clean in half, the force would be enough to bite a tail or a fin clean off, immobilizing their prey. Number 14. They are also incredibly fast swimmers. Number 15. They prefer to ambush their prey from above or below. Number 16. They may have also rammed their prey prior to biting them, stunning their prey to make them easier to handle, much like how great whites hunt today. Number 17. Their favorite prey were whales, which were both large and plentiful during that time. Number 18. Evidence also suggests that they also preyed on other sharks, including the great white shark. Number 19. It has long been thought that the great whites evolved from the Meg, but it has since been proven that great whites swam the same oceans as the Megalodon for about three and a half million years, even competing for food sources. Number 20. They actually aren't even close relatives. The Meg's closest living relative is actually the Mako Shark. Number 21. Because of this, scientists are now thinking that part of the reason why the Meg went extinct is that the faster and nimbler Great Whites outcompeted them for food. Number 22. Remember those whales that they're just so fond of eating? As it turns out, they were also competing for the same food. Number 23. Scientists also think that climate change may have had a huge contribution to their extinction. That's despite the fact that number 24. Megs seem to not mind swimming in near freezing conditions, although they do prefer warmer waters. Number 25. They were also widely distributed and can be found all over the prehistoric world, making them cosmopolitan animals, much like, again, great white sharks. In fact, number 26, megalodon fossils can be found on all continents except for Antarctica, where it was simply too cold for the sharks to thrive. Number 27. Another amazing thing about the Meg is that scientists think that unlike most fish who are completely cold-blooded, megalodons exhibit some form of warm-bloodedness referred to as regional endothermy. Through this adaptation, the megalodons can keep their bodies warmer than the surrounding water. This allows them to hunt in colder regions. Modern great white sharks also have this ability. Number 28. Also, despite people believing that early man coexisted with Megs, it simply isn't true. It is thought that Megs died out around 2.6 million years ago, long before the first man came into existence. Number 29. They never existed during the same time as dinosaurs as well. So that dream death battle that you had between the Meg and the Spinosaurus? Yeah, that never happened. Number 30. Enough about the vicious nature of these massive creatures. Now let's take a look at their tender side, because despite their fearsome reputation as apex predators, they were actually pretty darn good parents. Number 31. Meg babies are born alive, and as far as baby animals go, number 32. They're born quite big, measuring at around 7 to 10 feet long and can weigh up to 500 pounds. Mind you, that's almost the size of a great white. Number 33. Scientists speculate that only one Meg pup is born at a time. 
Number 34. Given the fact that fossils are rare, they're not even sure how Meg's mated. Number 35. They do know that these pups are born like miniature versions of their parents, fully equipped for the hunt. And what do scientists think comprises the diet of a Megalodon pup? Well, number 36. They think the pups preferred preying on dugong or sea cows as their nurseries were filled with their bones. Number 37. Yes, you heard me right. There are Megalodon pup nurseries and can be found in shallow coastal waters. Number 38. Although they're born built for the kill and can find food for themselves, Meg parents leave their young in these nurseries for protection. Number 39. This is mostly from themselves because when they're hungry enough, Megalodons can and will eat their own young. Kinda throws out the whole good parent thing I said, didn't it? Number 40. Pups stay in these nurseries until they're old enough and probably big enough to strike out on their own. I've already mentioned that there haven't been any complete Megalodon fossils that have been found, so let's talk about fossils, shall we? Number 41. The reason why there haven't been any complete fossils found is because, like all sharks, Megalodon skeletons are mostly made out of cartilage, a material that doesn't fossilize really well. Number 42. That's the reason why the only fossilized remains that we have of these massive creatures are their teeth. Number 43. Literally thousands of Meg teeth have been found, which is quite understandable, as number 44, their huge jaw contains around 300 of them. Number 45. Theirs is the largest teeth of any known shark, measuring about 7.5 inches in length and can weigh more than a pound. Number 46. They are triangular in shape and are built for grabbing prey, tearing off chunks of meat, and crushing bone. Number 47. People have been finding Megalodon teeth for ages. Number 48. In fact, during the Renaissance, a good chunk of the population believed that the giant fossilized teeth of Megalodons were fossilized remains of dragons or serpent tongues. Number 49. The noble people wore these glossopetre, or tongue stones, as decorative pendants or artifacts that bring good luck. Number 50. They also use the teeth as part of their traditional medicine, said to cure snake bites and other poisons. Number 51. It wasn't until 1611 that the Italian naturalist Fabio Colonna recognized these tongue stones as the teeth of ancient sharks. The Danish naturalist Nicholas Steno backed this up in 1667 when he published his work, The Head of a Shark Dissected. In his work, Steno also provided an illustration of a megalon tooth and what it could have looked like when it was attached to the head of a shark. Number 52. Want a megalodon tooth necklace for yourself? You can purchase one online. You can either buy or sell a smaller damaged megalodon tooth for an inexpensive price, but the large intact teeth are much more expensive because of their rarity. One of the largest non-restored teeth sold for around $50,000. Number 53. Here's a fun fact for you. Thomas Jefferson, a U.S. founding father, is a known fossil enthusiast. He collected fossils of mastodons, giant sloths, and even had the tooth of a megalodon. He also put his signature on the megalodon tooth that originated from South Carolina. Number 54. Fossilized teeth can be found all over the world. However, there's one place in particular where you can find tons of them. That being number 55. There's a place just off the coast of California called Shark Tooth Hill. So named because of the abundant fossilized meg teeth found there. Number 56. This also led scientists to believe that this area is one of the Megalodon's favorite hunting grounds. They also sometimes get washed up onto beaches. Number 57. In 2017, a seven-year-old boy on a vacation with his family found a large Megalodon tooth in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. The tooth was more than five inches long. I'm sure that you've seen a photo of a fossilized Megalodon mouthful of shark teeth. So, number 58. The fact is that's not a real jaw, but the teeth are real at least. Number 59, a group of scientists from 1982 decided to make a replica of the Megalodon's mouth. When they were finished, they had created what they thought was a Megalodon mouth. Three grown men could fit in it. Of course, they based the size on rough estimates, so saying that it wasn't accurate is a pretty gross understatement. Number 60, not quite. Scientists were also able to find fossilized Megalodon poop. Number 61, the fossilized feces called corpolites are shaped like a spiral. This indicates that the megalodons likely had a spiral valve, a part of the intestines present in modern-day sharks. One corpolite was measured to be 5.5 inches in length. Number 62. Scientists have found pieces of megalodon vertebrae which could tell them the age of the shark when it died. Number 63. As they grow, the vertebrae of megalodons grow rings that can be seen in a cross-section view. The rings increase with age, similar to the rings found in cross-sections of tree trunks. Finally, the one question I'm sure everyone wants an answer to, is the Megalodon still alive out there? Well, there is a lot of compelling evidence out there to confirm that. 
Foremost will be the famous photo that a NASA researcher supposedly found showing a 64-foot-long shark swimming next to a German U-boat. There are also reports of a massive 60-foot-long shark terrorizing the waters off the coast of Mexico City dubbed the Black Demon. It has been reported that researchers have found the Black Demon and it turned out to be a baby Meg. However, they reportedly didn't want the information to go public in order not to cause a panic. Number 64. There isn't any verifiable evidence that the Megalodon is still swimming around there somewhere, in Mexico or otherwise. Number 65. What about the submarine photo? Well, that turned out to be a hoax. Which brings us to the final fact for this video, number 66. The Megalodon, unless proven unequivocally otherwise, is most definitely extinct. I hope you like this new format as much as I have had fun researching and making it. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and let us know if you want us to make more. Also, make sure you check out the channel's other informative videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody!